one more point. Come on. Um. Hmm. Well, now I'm not for sure what to do. Well, I mean, I guess we could go do some of those, or go on to the. Uh, Forty-five seconds. Um. Um. I guess we'll go to, uh, not in the Grand. Talador? Yeah, let's do Talador next. So we've got two that we could do. Um, let's do the Critical Path next. I can't believe that that was such a tiny amount of quest experience. Mm. Oh. Hello, Commander. Resources in Ostrin. Uh, Bodrick had has mentioned to me that you have acquired some interesting construction notes in your forays out there. A construction guide or assembly notes, perhaps? You should speak to King K. Jacobs in Stormshield. She is willing to exchange finished blueprints for such things. I'll call in a few favors. Uh, so we can't upgrade that yet. I'm thinking we should probably do that um, to kind of unlock some more garrison stuff. Because um, we should have... Uh, yes, I realized I just walked out of there. Um... I was thinking that we had access to a, um, yeah, we don't have Salvage Yard yet, uh, Gladiator Sanctum, uh, increase your, I don't think that we had that, increase your out of combat regeneration in outdoors, drain, uh, drain ore zones, and allow the collection of broken bones from defeated enemy players used for a conqueror's tribute. No, wait, we had that already. Um, hmm. So we've got her at the tannery, and she gets experience when... Um, When, um, when she completes a uh, leatherworking thing, but I've not been skinning very much, so she doesn't actually benefit that much from it. Um, you know what? Before we head out, um, let's see if some gathering can do that. So you get 1,200 per pop, and then you get these draining seeds and primal spirits, which is, uh, the draining seeds are used for, um, like alchemy, uh, things here in the uh, herb guard, and I'll, <clears throat> I'll show you that. So you can buy, uh, like, items. I think these are just, uh, uh, and that's a, uh, a carrot, so. Mm. Uh, so you can have him, let's just go on and do all of those. See you around. Yeah, so we've got a lot of uh, 
ore and stuff down here, so we'll definitely uh, definitely level up. I don't know how to type those little A things. I know this is like extremely exciting and this is a really cheap way to uh, to get that last little bit of experience. So we're not going to ding on like a boss or going through a dungeon. We're going to we're going to ding on uh, a non-combat activity. But I, I used to uh, get exploration things because uh, you would get uh, <clears throat> like uh, once you got uh, flying mounts in uh, Outland, you could just kind of fly around uh, low-level areas, and uh, you don't get experience for those the mine carts, <clears throat> and um, and you would uh, get about a thousand per area, <clears throat> and. Uh, then of course you would get the uh are we seriously not gonna no we should still have we should have enough we're gonna have just enough i think that's crazy <laughs> Ding. So we got improved focus. Increase your maximum focus by 20. Nice. So we're up to uh, 120 focus. Uh, so that should kind of give give us a little bit more freedom with our uh, stuff. So. Oh, and we got a uh, mission. So yeah, I'm just. Uh, I'm just going to play today. We're finally going to run out of uh, rested bonus uh, right before 99. So, nice. So, I'm wondering if we can... Uh, yeah, we still we can only queue for Sky Reach, and we can't even get in there. Yeah. Oh well, because some of them, uh, some of the dungeons are. Uh... Oh ho! Cadgar's assistant. Oh, servant. There we go. The amorphous blob of arcane energy appears to be giving people a tour of your garrison. Commander Goblin, I was sent here to summon you. Archmage Cadgar has a very urgent favor to ask. He is gravely concerned about additional threats this world may hold for Azeroth. He will need your assistance pursuing them. Please see him at his tower east of Talador in the Zangara Swamp. That This will not take long. So that is the... Uh, legendary uh, quest line. It'll give us a legendary ring. Uh, in the grand. Right. So that's the uh, the next quest chain. So, awesome! We're, we're making like some real progress, I think. 
Let's see what we got here. What did she get? Care said resources. Yay. <sighs> hmm. See, the only ones that can do that are completely... See, I'm wanting to, um... Get these three guys up to a hundred. I mean, that's a pretty good chunk of experience for people that low level, but... He's 98. Yeah, we'll try that. So these rare missions, not all of the rare missions have an expiration, but most of them do. So it's a good idea to kind of keep an eye on those. Um, yeah, that's... I mean, they're just getting experience, so... So we still need to uh, kind of track down some other ones, so. There is a guy in the Grand I would like to get. Oh wait, Gorgrond. Um, yeah, I need to, I'll have to look that one up. These last two, um, Talador, Shadowbone Valley. These are both from, no, yeah, uh, this was the one that we chose, the uh, the hunter, so we'll never be able to get those two. Uh, didn't I do that one? I thought I got that one. That might be something I'll look into off screen. Uh, I don't want to bore you guys too much. So, um, let's do. I really need to get these uh, uh, gray quests done and out of the way. Uh, the critical path, that's what we're doing. Talador. Let's look, look and see where that, uh, Call of the Archmage. Oh, that's not... That's actually kind of where we're going. Excellent. Or close to it, anyway. This is pretty.
I won't waste any of your time, sir. Let's discuss strategy. New flight location discovered. Three of them, I guess. I'm glad you're here. Fort Wren is nearly complete. We only need to fill this last plot. Barrels provided us with blueprints for two different structures that would fit this space. An artillery tower or an arcane sanctum. It's your call, Commander. The plans are on the drafting table for your perusal. Let's see. The Wren Artillery Tower will provide higher quality weapons and armor for your troops. Once fully operational, the Wren Artillery Tower grants use of artillery strike within Talador. Ooh. Arcane Sanctum will transform some of your forces into powerful spellcasters. Uh, guardian Orb. Summons a Guardian Orb at your location that electrocutes enemies. Hmm. Orders your armory to begin. Uh, let's go with Arcane Sanctum. Uh, I'm pleased to report that your Arcane Sanctum is up and running, Commander. Everything is exactly as the blueprint says. We need to work together to get it up to full production. See to it, our commander is not kept waiting. You can handle things from here, I'm sure. Well done. Uh, everything is exactly as the blueprint says, except for this note barrel scrawled on the bottom. Don't, for <clears throat> don't forget to connect the Sanctum to the Leyline network. Commander, I'm a foreman, not a mage. I have absolutely no idea how to do that. <clears throat> we found... Archmage Cadgar and some other Kirin Tor not far from here, to the east near the mountains. Perhaps we should ask them for a hand? Yeah. Yes. Yes, we should, because uh, that's what I want. <clears throat> so we've got an inn. Place to sell some stuff. So we got to talk to him twice, so let's... Should we do this bonus mission first, or what do you guys think? Yeah. Kuro's Claim. Eight Goran, six Iridium Geodes. I'm assuming they're inside. Yeah. I need a talk. Ooh, one shot. Nice. Yeah, even though we uh we can mine stuff in our uh in our area, we can't in our garrison we can't we still don't have mining. But mining is uh, is actually a really good way to uh, to level up. Uh, I know on uh, my uh, uh, horde paladin that I uh, played, I, there were several levels that I got just from uh, uh, doing mining nodes, like going out and uh, and doing that. <clears throat> Of course, with leatherworking, you get um, um, you get the experience for killing.